Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kevin, Kevin Daily 2001. Um I just had some trouble also getting in. Um so yeah. Oh, here I am. Okay. Hey guys, it's been a while. So first things first, I'm dying my hair. So I'm just I've got this out to do a test strand. But how are you guys? I, I don't think that many people are in here, but in case you're watching it back, hi guys, my name is Kevin. It's been a while, I haven't made a video in 10 months. I'm doing pretty well. Um, maybe I can bring this down too. There we go. That's bright, but it's better. Okay, so it's been a while. Um, Maybe I should, I'll just start doing this while I get into it. Um, yeah. Just another Winx fan. Hello, bingos. How are you doing? Um, so happy to see you. So, yes. If you didn't, if you guys didn't know, I'm going to be going to New York Comic Con. I am so excited. I am very nervous, too. I am going to there to see um, the Wings Club booth and panel, and it almost, it doesn't feel real. I'm trying not to think about it too much because I, I'm so nervous, but I'm going to meet Lavender, Lavender Aurora. I'm going to meet her finally. I'm so excited about that. Um, yes, yes, yes. I remember you, bingos. I remember. We go way back. We go way back. Um, yeah. So I, oh my gosh. It's been a week. It's been a lot going on. Um, I think we're gonna get this watch off and then maybe try to play some music. I don't know. I don't want to get copywritten. Oh my god. But I don't know. I don't want to listen to Kevin Cloud royalty free music. Um, I'm going to try to do like slow reverb music of some sort. Or if that's weird, I don't know. And it's just a, a regular, I don't know, not a high class live stream or anything. I can hear myself. Oh my god. You know what? I don't even know. I don't know if you guys care or not. So, I am gonna dye my hair red. I've got like these uh, blonde little bits at the end here. And it's time to dye them another color. I dyed it a while ago, May of 2022. And I did like rainbow hair. And it's almost like I, I went from here to here down. It was like bleached. And it was crazy. It was crazy. And all this that's left is just... The hair that's still remaining with like um you know trimming it and such um yes yes i i'm very excited did you guys hear did you guys know that wait let me just finish reading the comment it seems like the wings reboot will be coming in 2025 most likely due to what happened the past few months. What happened the past few months? I am not sure. Um, but I was gonna say, while you write that thought, if you want to, um, those Wings Club shorts, those Discover the Italian Magic or whatever, the writer Strike. Oh, okay, gotcha. I remember that. Now I remember that. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, and I guess 2025, not too bad. When you think about it, it's like we've got something to wait for. Um, I don't know. And I feel, it feels like, okay, Winx will have at least 21 years full run. Um, oh my gosh. This computer is insane. I don't have any sort of calm or anything. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I mean, they say to like, do a comb to comb it through and stuff. It's not like it's bleach. It's not like I'm trying to make sure it all lightens properly. So I dyed my hair all crazy rainbow. And then I, I wanna get this on ASAP. Not like there's any rush, but just so it can process, you know. I think I have, uh, this need to go to bed. I might be able to just clip it up or something. I had some clips. I don't know where it went. Oh, I found the code. I found the code. Oh, goodness. So, um, and I don't even care if anyone's in here, bingos, if you've got to go, don't worry about it. Do what you got to do, everyone. Plus, there's another movie and trick spinoff potentially happening. I heard about that, and I'm excited. I really want that to happen. I really do. I would like to see it. Okay. I've got a mirror like right here, so. And also I am at a relative's house. He's on vacation right now. So we are like casually vis visiting to, or pretty regularly visiting to like take care of the cats and such um so yeah i am very excited for the wings reboot like i said i'm going to comic-con 2023 this this year this week october 14th at 10 a.m so bingos or anyone watching in the future anyone if there's anyone else watching I will be going, um, I will be, it opens at 10 a.m. And then the Winx panel is at 10.30, if I'm correct. And then after that, however long that is, I'll be going to the booth where they've got all the stuff. I saw there was a comic or something, an exclusive comic, if you spend over $100 the first five people. I would like that, um, but <laughs> I don't know if I'll make it there and spend 100 bucks. I don't know. Um, let me get to this. I wonder if it's going to be a prequel before Winx season one. I agree. And that would be amazing. Like, we also saw, um, you know, we saw Icy's backstory, more of that in season eight. It, some people might not say it's canon, but I feel like it's all bits and pieces here and there. We can just pray that it's canon and connected in our minds. Um, let me get a snack out first. I wanted to get, um, got some of these. I wanted to get like this chocolate on chocolate Enemins cake, Entimins cake, because I had one and they were so good. But they were out of stock at my grocery store. I could have asked someone, they probably had it in the back, but it's just one of those days. Just one of those days. 
and oh my god. Anyone like take fives out there? Um, what you doing? Are you trying to realize if my if their names are confidential or not? Um, I always feel so weird eating on camera. Looking through my stuff, okay. Um, maybe I scared. Thing goes away. Oh, oh, there he is, oh. Though I hope a certain YouTuber could find them both. Oh. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, um... Oh, wait. I didn't even re read your last one. I can't go, unfortunately. But I'm curious about what the Winx... About the Winx Lost Pilots. Winx Just Fairies feels like what Winx Comic Issue 1 was animated. Though I hope a certain YouTuber could find them both. Ray Mona. Is that the YouTuber's name? Um, and I agree. I agree. I had one of the four kids comics or something, and I've since lost it. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> it was really good. The four kids first or second comic, it had Stella's beauty tips. It had a recipe. It had tips and tricks. It was the coolest thing. I got it in 2018. 2018 I had my first job and I was like spending all my money. I bought a Musa Butterflix doll. I bought all of the four kids Winx DVDs except for season three. She found the Sailor Moon pilot. That's amazing. Like I think in some of my videos around a year ago, I was talking about all that. Here we go. Um, so, I'll put a pause on the wings. Last year, I dyed my hair rainbow, May 2022. And then, when I got, I didn't let, I didn't touch that again. I let that all fade out as I trimmed here and there. And... I think it was June or so, I dyed it purple, just a semi-permanent on what was already bleached. And now I'm going in with the red because it's like fall, Halloween, um, and I'm not too afraid if it fades or not. I would hope it fades maybe, I don't know. I would hope it fades so that I could do something else during Christmas. And it leaves a good tone when you, when, with the red at least with the purple you know underneath I already had like some mint stuff going on um, so yeah how am I gonna do this I might as well set it by the laptop here okay tell me what you want tell me what you need a to z da 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 wow Oh my gosh, this Ion Color Brilliance in the shade red, semi-permanent, it smells so, so good. I used this the first time I dyed my hair red. How far up am I going? Maybe like that. Not far. Um, back to the wing stuff. Yeah, my videos a year ago were basically about that. Like, I was like, oh, the history of this, the history of that. Um, and then with the podcast, I, like... Um, the podcast, I started to talk about all that, too. And I've got some updates about that, too. Um, just checking on the kitties. 
as far as the podcast goes, um, I've definitely, obviously, taken a break. Um, and I've had some changes in desires, changes in passions, and I'm just trying to make it look sure it's all saturated. Um, I recommend this dye. It's very good. Um, however, if you're getting a pink one, just pink hair dye, I've learned the hard way, is difficult. I got a pink one of semi-permanent ion, and I could tell that in my hair, like, applying it, it was fine. But when I rinsed it out, even the first wash almost without shampoo, it was just so bad. Um, like, it was so bad. Um, it, it didn't, it wasn't helpful. It did, didn't dye my hair properly because it just washed right out. I might as well have done the spray or I don't even know, something else. It's more than what's after life. Okay. Uh, I found if you want to reuse these little gloves, you can just like blow into it from the other side if it's all crinkled. I really hope that didn't get on me. It maybe did. I don't know. It'll come off. So. It's not doing anything. Okay. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I am going to go to Comic-Con. And I'm very excited. Um, I thought I should have brought a bag or something. Well, I do see, like, there's a bag I brought all the stuff in. I don't even know if, maybe I can just clip this up for now. Did you guys know in New York State, plastic bags are banned? We haven't had plastic bags since, like, I don't even know, 2020? Ever since then, it's like, buy a paper bag for 50 cents. Um, which I think is very good for the environment. But for the odd things you would need a plastic bag for, it's like, it's so scarce to find one. Like, emptying the cat litter, or who even knows? Just anything. <laughs> All right, um, let me see, what time is it? 9.05. <laughs> Maybe I won't finish this whole thing during the stream, but yeah. I don't know. I feel silly with this sticking out, but I want to put the whole thing on my head. Um, I wonder, can I mute myself for a second? I guess it's not that big a deal. I just feel so weird eating on the camera sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh. I just got your comment. Um, AKA Sabin. Saban Moon, sorry. She made a great documentary on it about the prediction production. I just imagine if Sailor Moon and other animes went the Power Rangers route in an alternate universe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know too much about Power Rangers, but 
I know it's like all over the place. All over the place. Like, there's so many um, little series here and there, I think. Yeah. It's like everywhere. Was the first one in the 90s or something? Um, oh my god! <laughs> Sun Magic! Hi! How's it going? I haven't seen you in so long either. Um, yeah, I'm just dyeing my hair at uh, test strand going on. So, yeah. I am excited. It's been a while. I know I am going to the New York Comic Con um, October 14th, the Saturday with the panel. I am so excited. Um, get rid of that glare. But yeah, I'm so, so excited. I know Lavender Aurora is going and I've known her since like World of Wings season two reactions. Like we go way back and I am so excited. Uh, I know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, oh, I'm so happy and excited and thankful I got these tickets. They were sold out on the website. So I had to go to, I found a place on eBay. Um, Lavender Aurora linked me to it and they were the sold out Saturday tickets for like 200 something I was like, you know what? It's worth it. It's not like it's a thousand um, And the original ones were 75 I'd say before they were sold out so It's not too too bad, but I think for one solid winks moment It's worth it uh, it would be my first, yeah, yeah, it was honestly steel. It would honestly be, it will be my first Comic-Con and first Wings event, and I'm very excited. I wonder if the reboot will take elements from the Magic Bloom pilot, like the Winks and Tricks were originally friends, Techna being a cyborg. Yeah, I think that's a good point. I saw... You know, I, of course I saw the picture with the six of them there. Um, and, yeah, I noticed, like, Techna's arm looks like a little robotic. Um, not the one where it's, like... Uh, of course I saw the other one where it, they look... They're in the pose of Mystery of the Abyss, like this one right here. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah. Just the group of them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I saw this one, and it looks like Tecna's arm is a little bit robotic. You see the shoulder and stuff, and even on the forearm. Oh, yeah, like, literally look at that uh, elbow. You might want to look it up online, but look at that elbow. It looks like a little hinge joint or something. Um, <clears throat> good lord. Yeah, I'm so excited. So excited. I love that she's going back to her roots. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I know. So, it's literally been so long, so, so long, and I wanted to come back here and there. I might make another official video, but basically once I got a new job, I really just focused on that, and um, it's been really, really, really good for me. I noticed a big change with myself before. I felt like... You know, we have our ups and downs, and 2022 was a insane year, to say the least. Um, I've just gotten so much better 
taking care of myself, mental health, everything. And yeah, but I've come to a point where like, I'm thinking about how I want to go about more Wings content. Is there anything gross in the background? I hope not. Anyways, um, yeah, I took a break. I'm here and I'm back like Wendy Williams fainting. You know, I overheated my costume, but I'm a champ and I'm back. Um, so yeah, I left off with the podcast too. And if you notice, like I changed the channel art a little bit because I was like, I'm putting it out. I'm going to put it on a pause for now. I, excuse me. Terra in the reboot. I saw the one picture where it looked like there was an eighth or seventh girl, and it didn't look like Roxy. Um, maybe I should search Wings Club reboot. Well, I don't know if I see a picture right here. But yeah, I literally, I swear I saw one picture where um, it looked like there was another girl. That would be crazy if they put Tara in. Like, it would almost be like fate is canon. <clears throat> no, because I stumbled across your channel a few days ago and was shocked. I didn't realize it had been so long. I thought YouTube stopped giving me notifications. Yeah, it had been a long time. It's been 10 months. I did a, something on my second channel, Duncan Diamonds, uh, like a Cyrenics for Kids edit or something um, in January. But before that, it was like December 20th or something. And yeah. But... Talking about the podcast, you know, I was looking at it and I was like, it's definitely a lot. I'm definitely, it's almost like video essays. It was like way too much. Although I enjoyed sharing that much content, it was just like not sustainable. You know, even with that being the only thing I could be doing. Like if I had no job, no school, no nothing, it would be exhausting. But then I thought, you know, like, why don't I do a rewatch podcast with, like, a simple, like, make it simpler. Just, like, watch it through and take the notes and do the podcast. And I got to that point, but then I just thought for a second, like, I don't know. I don't know if, I, I just don't feel it. I'm not feeling it, Mr. Mr. Krabs, um, and then I thought about just doing simple reactions, like reacting to it on Twitch. I know Una Fata has reacted to Wings on Twitch, um, and so I thought about it, and I guess I've had a stigma a little bit with reacting because I'm like, um, I don't know, I just a personal guilt like is that you know good enough is that whatever enough like um and sorry i'm just editing the description of this video i don't really know what i want it to be i felt like just confusion with my whole channel and other channels overall like what do i really want to do um Okay, let me just get back to it. And then okay. So, I think you could rebrand it to be more about documenting than a podcast. So, the content kind of stays on the same schedule, but you can post on a flexible schedule. Oh, I read that wrong, but I know what you mean. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. I, I definitely am going to figure something out. Um, because I don't want to take, do take those videos down, but at the same time, 
Um, I don't think I have the, I'm stumbling on my words. I don't know if I want to like even keep going with a rewatch podcast, if that makes sense. I think reacting maybe on Twitch or something might be my strong suit. And it's unfortunate. And while I do that, I think I'll try to make some recaps of the uh, streams. Like they call it a VOD or whatever. I might do that and edit it to be like as least copyright as possible, you know, how Winksters are trying to survive. Um, and yeah, I think it'll be really cool because I feel like when I watched the episodes, I had so much to say in taking notes. And then when I went to record it, it was like, I just got so flustered, stumbling over myself. You know, I feel like surface level, I probably have enough to say, you know, to begin with. Um, which I'm open for LGBTQ plus representation in the reboot. Like, you can't tell me that Aisha Musa or Musa Techno wasn't a possibility for being a couple. I agree. I absolutely agree. Um, we got one random scene of, like, two Alfia girls holding hands one time in season two in the background, and that's all the LGBT we got. Um, and yeah, I, I could see that. Or even Flora or something, I don't know. I was thinking, does that make, there was something in Fate that was LGBT. It was, there was a lot in Fate, let's just say that. I like that idea, it would be fun, thank you, thank you. I, I'll be excited, I'm excited for it. I've been redoing like my banners and stuff. Beatrix and stuff, <laughs> oh my god, that's funny, that is funny. I feel like it'll work in the reboot since Fate with Tara. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's what it was. Season two, season two alert. Spoiler alert. At the end, Flora was like, I think I'm gay. Or so, is that what she said? I think. Wow. I literally forgot about that. Wow. Okay, Flora. Um, yeah, I totally, I totally redid and like kind of reconfigured my banners and stuff and, um, oh my gosh, where's my, there's my phone, I'm looking for my phone, um, great, I gotta like log into all these things but I'm excited I redid the banners and things and kind of did stream labs and things and I think I'm pretty much almost on the way to just start streaming this is ridiculous something flashing oh my god maybe I can just not even have one Check the chat in just a second. I don't know if anyone said anything. Oh, come on. There we go. So I was just trying to log into Twitch so I could share it. Um, I forgot about that. I forgot Fate exists. Yeah, it's been like a year. And it's crazy to think that that was the last Winx content at the same time. Like, honestly, like, what? Doesn't make sense. Could 
goodness gracious. Oh, one second there. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> what do you think of the six year gap between season eight and season nine? That is, cr that is crazy. Sorry for that. Because <sighs> I guess, yeah, 2019. What a disgusting year. <laughs> um, anyways, I think that's crazy. I thought season seven to eight was crazy. Season eight to nine is actually even worse. Um, I think it'll be exciting nonetheless because I've, I've just had so much else to think about, but it, I don't know, it feels like safe, like the fact that Wings just keeps coming back and like other things come and go and come and go. And it's like, almost feels like Wings is eternal, you know? And it does make me feel good. Like I, I appreciate that. And it would make me so sad the day that it leaves. Yeah, I just hope we get some new content to keep us afloat till season nine. And I was telling Bingo's earlier about the Italian Discovering Italy shorts with the Mythics outfits. I have not seen them. No spoilers, please. I doubt there's any continuity, but no spoilers. I am excited because it looked really good. I did not expect that. That came out of nowhere. I'm happy. Originally, when I first saw Wings season one, I thought Stella was in a beach outfit in her casual outfit. I'm surprised Althea let her wear a top like that in the classic series. Yeah, it was literally just like tied. That's crazy. That is crazy. When I, I first saw the specials for so, it took me a second to watch back and see that that was her. Um, yeah. Yeah. I lost myself there. The phantom's been dying down. I know. I know. All I see are like... I Honestly, I don't see much. I just was going to say I see edits here and there, but not even that much, really. Um, I do have to put them on to read. Great. Yeah. You won't believe the continuity. Oh, gosh. Fate was the reason there's such a gap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, the Roblox. Oh my gosh, because there was the other one with the really good graphics and people took them down because like, excuse me, they didn't want to get copywritten by Winx. Like it was like My Fairy Guardian or something. And it had the most beautiful graphics, like, like better than uh, Mystery of the Abyss. I don't know. I'll say that. Yeah. The Fairy Guardians. It was beautiful. I think the developers made a new game. It has the same aesthetics, new story and stuff <clears throat> released a few weeks ago like the fairy guardian stuff with the fancy looking wings is that what you mean oh awesome awesome wow this chat is like on time um i was a four kids i was a four kids fan when season three was out that's awesome that's awesome i must have been six or seven when that came out and i i do remember like one scene when Bloom was on Pyros, like, she got pricked by the thorns. I just remember that one scene, but then I remember Nick. Um, the Roblox game opened for early access, too. Some people got accepted to play. That is crazy. The official Lynx one, I had not heard too much about that. Um, 
it looks interesting. It looks like how it looks. Um, one second. Is, is Roxy in it? Is, I don't even know, Murda, Daphne? Oh, <laughs> wait, I said so many. Uh, which one? Oh my gosh, Roxy's there. Um, I kind of want Rainbow to make a Winx RPG like Sailor Moon original story. I didn't know Sailor Moon did that. I'm not too in the know of Sailor Moon. I watched like a hundred something episodes of the Viz dub. But I agree. And it makes sense like a RPG like bloom has attack power flora has defense power stuff like that mm. murda and daphne are not okay hmm. they sh they should be there they should be there uh Oh, maybe I can share this. I guess I typed it wrong or something. They haven't updated the game in three months. They might be there soon. That's good. They have. <laughs> they've been on their summer holiday for forever. Their summer ex realness. That is my Twitch if you guys want to check it out. Um, it's been fun to like change the graphics edit my bio last life five years ago you know what it is what it is um and so maybe i'll definitely have to like plan it out in advance like oh thank you thank you very much like i don't even know what i was gonna say I don't want to just start it and have no one know I'm over there. So I'll definitely have to like, you know, make a video and plan it. But thank you very much, Sun Magic. Yeah, it was so cluttered back then. I might even get rid of that leaderboard because I don't even know if I want that there. Um, but yeah, I'm living the simple minimalist life, you know. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. How late is it where you guys are right now? For me, it's 9.30 in New York. Um, 9.30 p.m. Is that 21 o'clock? I don't know if it's said, like, whatever o'clock in military time, but anyway. Um, oh, my God. It's 3.30 a.m. where you are. And this is what you're watching. Oh my gosh. You know what? I woke up at 4 a.m. today. I went to bed at 5 p.m. the previous day. And like, I woke up at 4. And I didn't go back to sleep. I ate like a breakfast sandwich. I had some coffee. And then I had another sandwich. And then I had actual lunch. It was just a lot. Oh, thank you very much. That's so sweet. Yeah, just sitting here waiting for my test strain to process, you know? Um, the craziest thing, it's kind of ridiculous. The, can you see this? The instructions are written on the inside. You're supposed to like um, unfold it and then read the instructions. Like, is the point not the box? to hold the dye, this very staining dye. I don't know. Um, what else has been going on? What if you accidentally tear the box? I know. I mean, you think with your gloves and your hands. I don't know. You'd want it to be as contained as possible. <sighs> yeah, I'm very excited for everything. Um, ah, 
how have you guys been? Some magic, I haven't seen you in forever, forever. I wish we had some news, yeah, yeah. But how have you been, and how have, uh, oh, good, good, that's good. And bingos, how have you been? Has anything been going on with you guys? Any plans, any exciting news? You don't have to tell me, but just curious. I started getting into TikTok, nice. A while ago, I maybe you guys saw, I deleted some accounts on social media. I think I just wanted to restart. So I think I'll start coming back with that soon. But yeah, that's good you got into TikTok. Like, like Winx talk or just you watching it? Because either way, they're very interesting. And, oh my God. Oh my gosh. That's so true. That's so true, Ari. You sing a I was trying to copy the We Can All Sing. I mean, I don't remember how it goes. That's so true, Liz. You sing a lot, too. I think we all sing. I'm missing something, but it's there. Oh, oh my god. I think I'm on your account. That, this is iconic. Wow. Is that what the is that what their Roblox looks like? The official Wings Roblox? Good bingos. Haven't been busy uploading YouTube videos and occasionally streaming on Twitch. That's awesome. I'll be sure to subscribe to you if I'm not already, I don't think. What is your uh, YouTube channel, bingos? I'm not, oh, oh my gosh. Is it the account you're using? <laughs> oh my God. Anyways. Um, I got some 4Kids AI voices now. I make skits with them. Now I make skits with them. I saw that Believe X fan made season four with 4Kids. Uh, that was really good. That was so clever too. Like, uh, let me pause this music. I don't even know if you guys can tell I'm playing music, but You're so pretty. I love your hair. Can I get a picture? I did not spend 20 years fighting deranged men to be mistaken with a clumsy teenager. They act like she did something with that flimsy yo-yo and boring outfit. She will never be on my level. Guys, I'm Bob. Intruder. Stella, it's me. Oh my god. You really ought to change your wardrobe. What's wrong with it? Oh my god, you look so familiar. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Marinette, oh my god. And I've said, back when my one friend, who, um, oh, the cat was looking at the mirror. My one friend who shall not be named, um, was watching, like, I was always saying, like, she is Musa. Like, they copied Musa. I also, can we talk about how Eugenio Strafi is so much more respectable than um, whoever the creator of Miracul Miraculous is? Just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. Um, <laughs> cause like, Thomas Astruck, yeah. Like, I think just the vibes of like, I don't know, I'm gonna, First of all, they're two different shows, and I have two different opinions, and I like one more than the other, but the fact that, like, he consistently put himself in the show, like, it's almost like, what are you doing? Um... I can't. I can't get away. 
this is like my, um, as I said, a relative's house. They're on vacation, so I'm here. <laughs> oh my gosh. See so yeah, how that just happened. Moving on. Um, anyways. Oh gosh. But yeah, it's like he makes himself the miraculous villain. He, like, I don't even know. And Eugenio Strafi, he's not the villain of anything. He's not the fairy of anything. So, I just thought, you know, a little thing to notice. Um, I think Bingo said something. He, do he does come alive every two years. And last year, later last year, he posted on Instagram about Fate being canceled or something. Like, a personal Instagram post. I was shook by that. Um, I think my favorite set of videos I did was with the Google Translate vids. Ooh. And also, let me read your other message. Yeah, just been uploading reviews from Disney and Looney Tunes. I try to be entertaining. Unfortunately, don't have a good camera quality on my phone, so just voice recordings. I totally got you. Um... And what I've learned is that at this point, for me, it's all about simplicity, minimalism, like, not necessarily, but I mean, I've personally learned for me to step back and put a little less effort into uh, my things. Um, oh, one sec, I gotta refill the water for this cat. But, yeah. Okay. The most scary thing about having cats one of them is trying to carry the water dish back without spilling it. Okay. I don't even know what I was talking about, but... Oh yeah, bingo's thing. Um, yeah, like, so satisfying when they, they drink the water right after you put it down. I think, you know, that doesn't have to be a bad thing using like just your microphone. Um, but also it is, you know, not bad to have a goal and do whatever you want while editing. Um, just a little suggestion, like, I don't know. Don't, don't take this as like a, you have to do it. Just a little tip. Um, Oh my gosh, sorry, I keep saying, um, I feel like that's so annoying. <laughs> so, Sun Magic, are you, oh. If it's 3 a.m. Oh my god, can you hear that? Can you hear that? I'm trying not to get copywritten. It's like sped up a little bit. <laughs> yes, are you an Etsy fan? I'm not a super, super stan, but I, I got, you are? Okay, good, good. I say I'm not a super stan, but I just bought, um, I'm also a girl group stan. I've just gotten into K-pop this past year ever since I stopped making videos. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Um, yeah, I just got the Itzy album, Kill My Doubt. I was excited to find it in my Barnes and Noble here, even in America. And they don't carry everything. You know, of course they've got BTS, 
which no shade, but I wish they had like Kepler. I wish they had Stacy. I wish they had what I want. It's like they have everything I don't like. Yes, Kepler, yes. Ugh. Sorry, I just excited. I got, Kep I think Kepler right now is my favorite girl group. Um, I'm a Bahi stan, Eugen stan. I love Diane's voice. Um, there's Hikaru. She's, she was the queen of up. She ruled the up era. Excuse me. Okay. Wow. Um, bingos, I can put the link in here if you like. Um, I don't know if you're on mobile or whatever, but that should be it. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you trying to find me. I appreciate that. I, I don't know if it's on my <laughs> KKKKK. I don't know if it's on my channel as a hyperlink. I should definitely do that. Um, oh, I don't think it is. Anyways, I would, let me just get back to that. What were you saying? Oh, you already tried that? Okay. Well, I can add it as a link on my YouTube channel, which I'm meant to do anyway. Um, let me see. Twitch. I got rid of the TikTok because I did delete my TikTok account. Um, on mobile. Okay. Okay. Let me see, it might work for you if you go to my channel and then click this new link, which I'm gonna add in a second. Um, okay, now let me just try it. Yeah, I am a total girl group stan. Kepler's my favorite right now. I kind of joined like in when they released Giddy this year, which is so recent, but I've looked back, I, I love Wa da da. Um, I don't know what was next in order. Up, oh, up, the blast, the blast. I'm not sure how to say it. Um, I know for a fact if you go to my channel, click about, scroll all the way down, it should be there. So, <laughs> um, yeah, Go, girl group Stan. Yes! And Galileo just came out. I really like that song. How did you like it? The new Precure series. I'm shook by Hero Gar. You liked Galileo. I loved it. Okay. Sorry, going back and forth. Galileo was so good. Yes, more space themed. Like up maybe because like a rocket ship oh well they did zoom out and there's the planet so maybe that was some space lore you know part of the kepler lore and um there was wheat fresh there was uh giddy i feel like there's bits and pieces of i mean it's a weird cat like yeso picked up chaehyun and Ate her at the end like that's something that's something all right it's a shame because that's their concept and they've only have a year you know i'm actually so mad about that i'll hold that thought i'll get back to bingos i am excited for the new pre-cure and i am floored already at this series uh hero garu excuse me the the sky pretty cure Oh, there's something else I did not know. I knew there was a classic Precure new movie and that, um, I can look that up. But yeah, um, Kepler is just iconic, just iconic. I, I really am mad, like, 
are they seriously gonna do like I'm just hoping that they can re-sign or something or renew something Precure 5 season 3 okay is it another one of the Precure 5 with Precure 5 go go or whatever that's crazy that's crazy Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna miss, I, I don't even wanna think about it. I feel like lots of them are gonna have good careers for sure. Um, I hope Eugene has another good career from Kepler, like, because she was in CLC, now she's in this. So she'll, they're all going to probably be good. Um, who is your bias in Kepler? I'd like to know. And Star Splash is also joining. That's interesting. My favorite Precure was... Uh, Kura Kura... The cooking one with Cure Whip, Cure custard, cure gelato. I think that's their names. Kira, Kira, pretty cure. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yes. Kira, Kira, pre Kira, Lamoon. I love he. I love her so much. Whew. You're on that season? That's a coincidence. Um... Yeah, I love her, I love Eugene, I love Hikaru a little bit. I don't know who else. Youngun has been catching my eye lately. I'm like, you know what? I have to stand. Um, yeah. At first I couldn't notice her voice too much between um, the other people, her and shouting, but now I am starting to pick it up a bit more. Um, yeah. I think otherwise, I do know, I how long have I been up? An hour, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Youngun is actually iconic. I haven't seen any of the newer seasons after that, but since Precure is such a big franchise, it is. Like, I wonder how long it'd take you to watch the whole thing. And it doesn't seem like they're gonna stop. Like, every week since 2004, basically, they've had an episode. So, yeah. I... I might hang on for a little bit more. I know I said it was dyeing my hair, but it'd be a lot with the red water and stuff. So maybe I'll stay on till 10, 10.05 and take a break. Sun Magic, you can go to bed, but you can go to bed right now. Like, do not stay up if you don't want to. I am not condoning you. I am not gonna Colleen Ballinger you. I don't even know how old you are, but. I'm 22, so it would be what it would be. Oh, that is so kind. That is so kind. Um, yeah, I, you've been watching since 2015. Wow. I got into it the later couple months of 2018 and I remember I was excited because Star Twinkle Pretty Cure came out in 2019 and I was just like, the stars have aligned. It's Star Twinkle Pretty Cure, it's Cosmic Season 8 because that's when that came out. Um, and there was something about it like, 
I was thinking, remember we call it Starlix? That was funny. And I was thinking, you know, Cosmos, Cosmics, I, I, not trying to like, you don't have to believe me, but I, that was a guess. I guessed it would be Cosmics and it was. So basically I predicted it. So basically, yeah. Go Princess was really cool because the keys, that was such a good concept. And the animation was pretty. It wasn't too simple and it wasn't too intense. Like I think of that music one, Cure Melody, Cure Harmony, I don't even know. That one was pretty stylistic and heart catch, is that what the one is? With the flowers and the pink girl and the blue girl. Yes, that's the one I'm thinking of. Heart Catch is very different from, uh, the music one. Um, I don't know what it is, but yeah. Smile, Pretty Cure. Then I guess technically I saw that one first. I saw Glitter Force on Netflix, but it was good. I, I enjoyed that. And yeah, I think with these reactions, I'm very excited. Maybe I can stream again tomorrow. I don't know. I cannot promise that, but it's definitely going to be something I plan to do more, hopefully. Hopefully with more notice, too. Um, yeah, I am excited to react to Winx. I think that'll be good, as long as I don't get copyright. I think the one fancy thing I'll do, I might do it. Like, I did the Winx wall, you remember that? That was just a mess for me. Like, I just, when you take the blanket down, like, all the papers crumble up, and you would just have to have it up for 10 years and, you know, however long it would be. But I, I thinking, like, since it's just gonna be reactions on Twitch, why not just integrate like it as a scene not just the wings wall but i think i'm gonna have it like a sticker book or something where i've got every single pair of wings excuse me and lined up almost like on the inside of two books and then like as we unlock them i'll crop like the i'll have one complete thing of like a shadow of the pngs and just put that on top and then the same thing of like the regular picture. So I might just like somehow crop it out and then reveal it. Thank you, Sun Magic. Thank you. And you won't be on the internet. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Will you have internet elsewhere? Like that's, that's tough. That's really tough. Me saying that because I, I work at the library, like, you would think that would be easy for me. Obviously not. Um, yeah. And, yeah, I'm thinking it would be cool, like, I don't know, I think it would be cool. I, I, for me, I've realized I have to not, like, make it too complicated or else I'm not going to end up doing it. So, yeah. Let's see. I actually got a new Apple Watch. I'm so excited about it. I had one from ninth grade, from 12th grade, and I got it as like a, um, something from a giveaway. 
It was for our prom, post-prom party. There was like a bunch of giveaways and raffles and I won the Apple Watch. I was so happy. It was a series three, it was 2019. And I finally got myself another, the new one, the series nine. It's really nice. But the controls are a little different. Like you used to s slide up to do the control center. Now you've got to like press that side button. It's just a little confusing. And um, yeah. Oh my gosh, I've been so addicted with Merge Mansion. It's a little, uh, I don't know what to call it, but you know those ads with the grandma in the car and her hand says he is alive and she's just like smug looking and the girl is like, what? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the game. It's not really like that. They dramatize the ads. But they have made it so you can't false advertise games anymore. Like those games where it's like the, the woman who's freezing and you add the things. Like, they actually include that as mini games in the games. Like, <laughs> this one. That's the game I play. It's almost like... A really fun 2048 if you think about it yeah yeah, yeah. <sighs> and you oh my god yeah it's insane like it's so addicting but there's no words the frustrating part is putting it down and making myself not spend real money on gems um but you used to have an Apple Watch and you only used it twice. That's fine. It's definitely really good for super active people. I wouldn't say I'm super active, but I do enjoy the watch and making sure, you know, I'm getting some movement throughout the day. Um, not like I'm some pro athlete exercising all the time, but I do enjoy it. Um, and the weather and you get to tell your heart rate and stuff that's what i appreciate about it um but yeah if you don't if you're not too into it then you're just not too into it <laughs> oh my goodness yeah <clears throat> what was i saying oh you're like 12 wow <laughs> yeah Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Some of these parents are giving their kids their own iPhones and iPads at like, you know, six. So, you know, it's bad all around sometimes. I don't know, it's late. I hope that wasn't like a rude statement. I am just delirious, yeah. You messaged me on Twitch. Okay. Okay. Yeah, when did I... I guess I got a phone at 15, 14. Because that's the year I started high school. But not... Before that, I had like an iPod Touch. And I had a Kindle. A Kindle Fire HD, if you know. Um, but yeah. I feel like sooner or later we would all get into technology, you know? It's just inevitable. But there is a difference between putting an iPad in front of your kid. That's like a different thing. Like a baby. You message me on Twitch. I will check that. I don't know why it's not loading on here. But I think for now I am going to end the stream. The stream. This live. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks you guys for hanging out. This was really fun. Some magic and bingos. I was not sure if anyone was going to join at all. Um, I was prepared to dye my hair. But I'm so glad I got to talk to you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I guess I will see you guys later. Um, yes! I had a cell phone but wasn't able to use it until I was 18. 
So they like teased you. That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. The cats are doing their thing. I will definitely spam you guys. Um, <laughs> I'll spam you some magic. Um, yeah, and I'll try to post it way more in advance on my YouTube community post and things. But yes, I had so much fun, you guys. So much fun. Thanks for watching and sticking with me. I will see you guys in the next stream. Have a good night.